So it's been a while since we've seen you. How's your summer been? What have you been up to? I've been busy. Yeah. We had a tour, and then we went into a little vacation mode, going to Montana, Wyoming, mm -hmm. and then we went up to uh, Vancouver, oh, isn't shot it great? a movie yeah. for uh, Lifetime, and then we went right into Albuquerque, New Mexico to film Big Sky. And by we, by we. You say the collective we. I do. A, oh, well, and you sit up straight now. Yes, I love do. Love in your life. Yeah. Uh, now, now, unlike most people during the pandemic, you fell in love. Not out of love. I know a lot of people <laughs> fell out of love during the pandemic. We you did. fell in. So, all right, tell us about him, how you met. Right before the pandemic, January of 2020, mm -hmm. um, I had gone out to L.A. to shoot Young Sheldon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, a good friend of mine that I'd met in 91 on the Gambler movie with Kenny Rogers, oh Rex gosh. Lynn, he was also doing Young Sheldon. Uh -huh. So he texted me and said, hey, you're coming out to L.A., let's have dinner. I said, okay. Uh -huh. Well, you know him for a long time. Yeah. As friends. Since 91. And our mutual friend, Ed Gaylord, we all kind of talked and visited. And he's just a sweetheart. We just, we just, uh... But wait, 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 wait. When's the moment? Yeah, wait, wait, yeah so take us from, like, let's meet up for dinner. To romance. Because we like, meet when, up for dinner all, all the time. time. And, we and never it's never like, oh, that's, nah. yeah. you know. Well, when he asked me to have dinner, uh, Marnie, my, my tour manager, manager, uh, Melissa Peterman, who was on the uh -huh, Reba show, uh -huh. uh, Steve, who is uh, the show showrunner of Young Sheldon, we were all there going to meet for dinner at Mistral's on Ventura right. in L.A. And so Marnie drops me off, uh, or she stops at the valet. I hop out, I leave her. And I run and I see Rex and I hug him. I say, oh, it's been so long since we've seen each other. Right, so you had a moment together. Uh -huh. And I sidled up to him. Uh -huh. <laughs> And then uh, Steve Malero had a uh, wine bar like three or four blocks down Ventura. And he said, hey, y'all want to go down there? So we did. And uh, the lady said, well, I know you guys have already had dinner, but we do have some appetizers and things. I said, what do you have? She said, well, tater tots. I went, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love you love tater tots? tots? Love yeah, tater tots. Who doesn't love and tater tots? That's my nickname, tater tot. Really? Yeah, you mean, Rex gave it to me that night. You mean the two of you have pet names? We do. You're in the pet name phase of the relationship. <laughs> we're, we're the tots. The tots. Uh, Sugar and tater. Hot for tots. So is he also a foodie, like a, a real food lover? He is. He is. He sent he is. you a bunch of things when you weren't together? Oh, McConnell's ice cream, Perini's uh, steaks and uh, all kind of beef from South Texas. And uh, McConnell's, of course, is from California. Uh -huh. And then he'd send me lobster and uh, wow. just all kind of stuff. Pecan pies. <laughs> See, that's the right kind of foodie. You're kind of foodie. He's like, oh, I'll send you a quail egg on a, uh, on a bed of leeks. <laughs> You know what I mean? And um, I go, nobody wants that. The quail egg enthusiasts of the world love that, by the way. 